Hey guys, it's Ricky Korn here. Uh, this is video number two. Um, in this video, I'm going to speak about uh, some of my strategies uh, that I use for my fan pages. Um, how I keep fans on the on the fan page, keep them uh, sticking around, posting different comments, sharing success stories, and things like that. So I said we just jump right in. Um, got some excitement going on today. Uh, let's just go to one of my fan pages real quick. Um, I just set this one up. I haven't done much with it. Um, I've just got hired to. This one's only got. This is this is actually a good one to to start on because I've only got I've got 69 likes. That's just from you know friends that got a notification that I was doing uh, this fan page. Um, I posted a couple things in here. Uh, just some good content. Here's a you know a join me one. Here's here's some more good content down here. A uh, few pictures, video. That's just what I do to 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 start this to start this out. Now my strategy is now when I create a fan page. Now this company is in pre-launch, so you could put a little bit more join me down here, a little bit more. But I would definitely have some really good content that explains, um, you know, explains what your business is about. Mine is a GSM cell phone provider that pays you to share your network with friends. So. <clears throat> you know, I, I just put some different things on here of how much you get paid uh, by sharing your network and the bonuses and different things like that, all that good info. So what I want to jump into is, when I, after I talked about the first video about how to come up here and uh, build audience and create, send your email contacts, send your friends uh, uh, invitations to like your page, so let's just say you did it and you've got like 25 likes and you know you want to take it to the next level. So my fan page is for Solove. Solove is is I'm an affiliate with Solove. So what I'll do is now this is I have two different two different marketing strategies for this. The the one I'll show you in this video is the free marketing strategy. Um, so what I actually do is I'll go up here. <clears throat> I'll type in Solove. You see, there's 13,538 that like this. This is the main company's Facebook page. So I'll actually come in here, and and before I explain this, what I try to do is I try to create a very positive, a very positive community. Um, no cursing allowed. No other people bashing other people. Anything like that. I keep it safe. A safe. Uh, very uplifting, positive community. Now, my fan page, I try to attract existing members and people that want to join Solovey. Now, how I do that is, I'll come up here and I'll write something right here about, um, first of all, let me get the, let me go back and get the link real quick. Okay, here's the link up here to my fan page. So I'll get the link. Now let me come up here, type in the name. I'll actually come up here and do a post like, hey guys, I just created a fan page of Solove. I would love it. If some of you would come and share your success stories, you know, you just type, you know, some of your success stories, and then, uh, uh, you know, I could even put my play, you know, my fan page will be, would definitely be a place where um, existing members can get support and different things like that. And I'll just copy my fan page right here. So they're not gonna in nine times out of ten they're not gonna delete it because I'm not I'm not driving traffic away from Solove. I'm just offering another solution, another another fan page where they can come in and share success stories. Now I know why you're thinking, hey, you know, why why am I creating a fan page for existing members? Well here's my thing. If you create a safe community, I mean a safe success you know, safe positive community that people are just sharing success stories. People that want to join Solove, they're going to want to. They're going to want to um, come. They're going to want to. They'll see this page 
And after reading all these things and reading all these comments by people, uh, different posts by people sharing success stories, they're going to want to join Solove. Uh And who they want to join, they're going to want to join this, the owner. They're going to click you. They're going to message. They're going to message you and want to join. Um, just so you know that this works, let me go to. I, I I got hired or I got asked to be a part of a team uh, about four days ago and be the Facebook advertiser for their fan page. I got permission to put this on my video. Um, right here, about four days ago, we had 112 likes. Now we have 1,395. I want to show you the insights button I was talking about in video one. Now, from four days ago, we are up 620%. Friends of fans are 196,000. Our weekly total reach is 410,000. We are up from last week 76,245%. And I will definitely get into how I did this a little bit later, of course. So back to... Going to the pay, going to Solovey page. So after you create that, you know you'll get a couple hits off that. But if you actually scroll down and look, every time they post something, there's 236 other people that liked it. I can click on that. All these people are either in Solovey or like Solovey. So do not spam them, but you can come up here and click. Let's see. Let me close that one. Let me go to the comments. So right here we've got, let me find one that's got some comments on it. This one's got 44 comments. So I can kind of scroll over this, per, you know, I can scroll over this person. Let's see, it's not letting me. Okay, this is what we have to do first. Go back to you, come up here, click on you, and then use your page. So now I'm back to my normal page again. So now I'm going to type in Solove. I apologize about that. Now I'm going to type in Solove. And then I'll come down here. Let's go back to the comments. Let's see, 22 comments. So I can scroll over this person. I can either add him as a friend. Now you don't want to add too many friends because because Facebook will Facebook will see that and they'll they'll give you a warning and they'll tell you hey you know we're gonna lock you down for three days you lock your page down for three days and you won't be able to friend request anybody so I wouldn't go crazy with a friend request but some people when you scroll over them see they they have it set up to where you can message them so you can actually click right here message and you can type your message in here I would type in a, a unique message instead of copying and pasting it. And I would and I would simply just state that I am that I am uh, that I created a fan page, and I would love for you to come over and, and speak about how pumped up you are, and speak about uh, you know share some success stories. That is a free way. Now remember, every time that that person likes your page, not only can they see it, but their friends will be able to see every post you have in their newsfeed. So that is, I mean, that that's very powerful when somebody likes your page, and you want it to be good relative. You know, you, you, you want it to be good quality likes. You don't want to just go to Fiverr.com uh, and go buy 400 likes. Because when you go in and create uh, your ads and things like that, Facebook takes a note of who liked your page. And if you just go buy 400, 600, or 1,000 likes, they're not going to be rel you know, rel relative to, to your page. Um, so you definitely want good quality likes. And that is one way of definitely... Um, definitely taking your fan page to the next level so so we know a little freeway of going in and just socializing with people and yes it takes a little bit of time but a free like a, a good free quality like is I mean you can't beat that at all because um, like I said you gotta remember any activity you have in here not only them but their friends are gonna see it and once one of their friends clicks likes then their friends are gonna be able to see it so you can kind of see where it grows. So here's your goal. You've got 69 likes over here. You are going to want to take and get 400 likes on your fan page. Not, not by going and buying something that says, hey, 400 likes, buy now. You're going to want to generate the good quality 400 likes. Because once you do 400, let me show you what happens once you get hit 400 likes. 
Once you hit 400 likes, and I'm going to explain this in the third video. In the third video, I'm going to go exactly into pay-per-click, uh, how to create ads. That's my second marketing strategy um, for, for the fan page. So let's see. Once we come in here, and see, he just posted this six hours ago about a conference call. Instead of going up, instead of going up here and clicking on build an audience and create an ad and having to set that ad up, once once you get 400 likes, all you have to do is click promote. And see right here, it tells us our estimated reach for five dollars, three thousand to six thousand. For ten dollars, six thousand to eleven thousand people will see this post. Once we click promote now it'll create like three ads for you it'll target the friends of your fan page it'll target the the total audience of your fan page and it'll create a sponsored ad for your fan page um, for this for this specific for this specific post so your your main goal when you first start a fan page is to get 400 likes um, so that, that is that's that is my main marketing I mean that's my main strategy once you hit 400 likes, I mean, it's just automatic. It is so much easier. And and here's here's how they do it. Let me go back real quick. I apologize. But the Facebook comes in here and they see all these insights. They see. Let's go to reach. They see what percentage of female, what percentage of male, the countries, the cities, the languages. They take all this into effect, and they create ads for you. So that's definitely one of your goals. Your goal is to definitely get 400 likes. Um, that way, it is it, it'll be so much easier. Um, but this is this is this is my free strategy uh, for for starting off. If you do not have a budget to create ads and uh, create you know sponsored stories for your page right away, that's fine. Socializing on Facebook is key. Like, I mean, you can you can just go down to to chat on your friends page. You know, go back. You know, just copy the URL. I mean, go back to your regular page. And I mean, don't spam anybody. But I mean, you could post. You know, on your own page. Hey, uh, this is my fan page. You know, click on home up here. Then just do a status like, hey, this is my this is my uh, fan page I made. You know, uh, click like. Um, you know, pr pretty much anything you want to do. Um, but that 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 freeway can can really really jumpstart your jumpstart your fan page big time. Um, when I go to build audience and I go to invite email contacts, uh, I've already done it, so I don't know if I don't know if it'll let me do it again. Let me let me see. Let me try real quick. I just want to show you this. It takes every contact you have and your email address. So check this out. This is all the email addresses I have. So I can just select all preview the invitation. That's what it'll look like. Click send. Let's see. Six hundred and ninety four invitations to view this page. I just sent out to my email. Click of a button. So these are just some ways. Uh, one of my strategies is for the uh, to do it free. It doesn't cost you anything. If you have a hundred dollar, a two hundred dollar budget to get your fan page to the next level, definitely watch the third video that I'm sending you. Um, I, I definitely go into I go into detail of how I do pay per click advertising. How I come down here and you click on this advertise your page. How I do sponsored stories. Uh, that'll be in the third video. But but please don't do, do you know don't don't underestimate uh, the power of free marketing on Facebook because like I said before once one person sees your once once a person clicks like on your page not only them but their friends will see it in the newsfeed so therefore another friend clicks it bam you know all of a sudden you're going viral another friend of their friend clicks it before you know it people are sharing your posts people are sharing your pictures. And you're out there. So before I create, you know, do any ads or anything, this is exactly how I jumpstart this. So uh, I hope the second video was good for you. The third video is when I go into detail about my pay-per-click ads. Um, and the, the the last part that I'll say about this video about the retention of keeping fans 
is that all you have to do is just make sure that you log on daily. You can connect this to your smartphone so you get notifications, but you can, what you know, daily, just come on here daily, and it doesn't, you know, I wouldn't spam everybody would join me, join me. I would just post good quality content. Maybe the numbers of how many people signed up to the company today. Uh, just Google some different things. If they had a corporate call, put the corporate call on there. Um, if uh, Solave is, you know, Solave is in pre-launch, so um, if there's something that they're doing tomorrow, a promotion before the pre-launch, put that in there. Um, and just definitely invite people to come on here and show how pumped up they are, how excited they are about the company. Or if yours is an existing company that's been out for years, that's that's even easier. That's easier. Um, let's just take an example. Maybe, you know, let's just say Herbalife or something like that. Um, you know, you can just go on there and tell them, hey, you know, can you come to my page and just explain how long you've been in and your share a success story, success story. And, and, and tell them you'll return the favor. Help people out. Um, you know, once they help you, you can definitely help them. So you'll find a lot of people that have fan pages, and if you offer to like their page as well, there's no reason they shouldn't come over and help you jumpstart. All you need is 400. 400 until you can start creating, uh, you can start promoting your ads, and Facebook does it automatically for you. So definitely stay tuned in for the third video. That's when I go into detail um, about the pay-per-click and the uh, sponsored stories. Uh, thank you for tuning in, and um, I'll see you in the third video.